Hey guys, welcome to the video. So in today's video, I'm gonna be answering the age-old question, is the RCMA no color powder good for baking? If you guys are new to me, hello, my name is Ken. I basically do lifestyle and beauty videos. If you guys aren't subscribed already, I'd really appreciate it if you guys hit the subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on any of my new videos. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So RCMA no color powder is definitely one of the more popular um, translucent or no color powders out there that I use for baking and um, I have been using it for probably like two years now um, before this I used to use the Ben Nye banana powder and it's very very similar if you guys have used that before um, obviously that has got more of a yellow undertone so perfect for people that have more of like a tanned complexion I, I, I would say probably like deeper than mine but yeah ever since I've gotten a lot fairer I've just started using this and this one actually works like a charm so I'll show you guys how I basically use this to set my under eye concealer or bake so I used to use the sponge method and you know dip my sponge into the powder moist and stuff like just to really pack it underneath there but as I've gotten older it's definitely just highlighted like fine lines underneath my eyes so I've stopped doing that so now I've gone from like um, setting to sort of like finishing so I've started using brushes like these so just to kind of like dust as you guys can see in this demonstration so I've got my foundation I've got my concealer so I literally just kind of like press so if I really want my makeup to last all day I will actually use this all over my face and you can use this all over your face that's absolutely fine um, I find that with translucent powders this one and Ben Nye banana powder there's something different about their formulas like in, in terms of the powder because it actually sucks up all the moisture and you're pretty much oil free for a lot longer so if you just use like your normal pressed powder to set your makeup and stuff like that I find that that lasts you know, it keeps the oils away for maybe like four hours. But if I use this, um, around the four hour mark, my T-zone, which is always kind of oily, um, that will still be a little bit oily, but not compared to like when I use a normal powder. And the rest of my face is like completely matte still. So um, I, I don't really know what the difference is between these sort of like powders, these loose, like no color powders or the powders that you use for baking compared to normal powders, but they just work wonders for oily skin. Now in terms of how is it good for baking? Now, in terms of what it looks like on the skin, yes, I think it actually looks pretty good for baking. Um, again, if you guys have fine lines underneath the eyes, do not use a sponge method. Um, I think you can still use the sponge method, just don't overdo it, like how you see it on Instagram where people literally have like a gigantic block of powder and if they move their head like an avalanche will happen. Yeah, don't do that. Um, if you guys have fine line issues, definitely just use a brush and that's absolutely fine. Now in terms of flashback, um, I have to say this is like one of my go-to powders for when I go out to events and I know that there's going to be flash photography and the odd chance I'll have a little bit of a white cast. This is definitely one I go for and I know it's a fail safe. So here's a photo, as you guys can see, I just took it with my phone and um, there's no flashback at all, like even under the eyes where I actually packed on the powder. Um, so some um, translucent powders, they will, you know, if you pack them on enough and um, you will see a little bit of a white cast um, or a little bit of a, um, a lighter appearance on this on the skin and that's absolutely fine for me um, I don't actually hate that I actually like that for an illuminating effect but for completely no flashback at all regardless of how much product you put on this is actually not bad it actually it doesn't look like I have any powder on um, I think that pretty much answers the question whether or not it's good for baking if you guys are thinking about fine lines and wrinkles as long as you use a brush and you don't overdo it, it's fine. In terms of flashback, works perfectly fine. So um, in terms of value for money, I think I paid 24 Australian dollars for this and I, I use quite a lot of it each time and I've had this for maybe, maybe a year and a half and I still have that much. I mean, obviously the packaging is probably not the most ideal considering it kind of looks like um, a salt shaker, kind of like packaging. Um, it's not the most ideal. It is quite messy. Thank goodness it's um, a no color. So if you kind of like wipe your desk, then it looks like it's gone. Um, in terms of how it's compatible with setting sprays, I've used different types of setting sprays. Max Fix Plus, so like the Spreblon one, long lasting urban decay sort of like 
Scandinavia setting sprays. Never had an issue with it. I never really saw like the pattern. You know how like sometimes when you have like droplets and it kind of just forms this ring. I've never had that issue even with like the dodgy um, like sprays from some of these makeup sprays. And I've never really had an issue with it. Pretty much it for me guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up the video if you guys enjoyed. Tell me down in the comment box down below if you guys tried this or have any alternatives or any other products you guys would like me to try out and review for you guys. Um, if you guys would like to see more of my content. I'm pretty active on Instagram so definitely head over there and give me a follow if you haven't already and speaking of following make sure you guys have hit the subscribe button if you haven't either and i think that's pretty much all the self-promotion that i'm going to be doing for this video thank you guys so much for watching again and i'll catch you guys in the next video bye